Alright, what is up guys, this is AC Activity here. This is going to be a new series, uh, Let's Play GTA Vice City, one of my favorite games of all time, and I'm not going to be talking over the cutscenes. So hopefully you guys enjoy, hopefully you enjoy as much as I enjoyed making this, and uh, peace. Tommy Vassetti! Ha! <laughs> Shit! Then they'd never let him out. He kept his head down, helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we going to do, Sonny? We treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town. Okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice, quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg. Schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vercetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey! Hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nice to ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so, they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the fun. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight. Let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s. Used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! Watch out, you guy! I poked my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shoveled shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Alright, what is up guys? This is AC Activity here. I don't know why I'm doing the intro again, but um, I'm just gonna turn the background music off because it's actually gonna annoy me a lot. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Look at that background music. Um, I don't think YouTube can do anything about it because it's it's copyrighted, but it's it's in the game, so I don't think they can do anything about it. And we are playing GTA Vice City, as I already said. And hopefully this game's gonna be fun to you guys. I definitely will have fun playing this. I'm 100% sure I've probably finished this game like two or three times. Actually, only once. I don't know why I'm saying two or three times. But uh, yeah, it's the first mission. Uh, it's probably the hardest mission of the whole game. It, it, it probably takes the longest because they really want to test your skills and uh... yeah i think it's a yeah it is a first mission so obviously i don't know why i said that but uh... okay so this is our hotel we're gonna be living here and uh... we're not gonna live here it's probably the only time we're gonna be here but let's go do the cutscene and see what sunny has to say Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know, you're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? 
So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee were dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money. No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with! Wait, Sonny! You have my personal assurance that I'm gonna get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm gonna mail you the dicks of those responsible! Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm gonna let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. He looked pretty, pretty angry, looking calm. And did you see the poster in the background? It was like the, the poster had such good graphics. And then look at this game. Its graphics are like Minecraft. Not not even. Its, it's graphics are like like Super Mario. I don't know. Is, is Super Mario's graphics better than Minecraft? I haven't really. Oh my God! Is the tire flat or something? How does this car turn? It's like. What's wrong with this car? Imagine having this car in real life, that'd be sick. Alright, let's get out. Oh, there's a police person. Smack. Oh! Shouldn't have done that. Gotta start. Boom. Go get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's ri ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh. There's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are going to be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No way, I told not you, shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978, too, but, you know, this isn't going to be a beer and strippers, do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go. Come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. It sounded like he wasn't like in an airplane or something. Did you see that background music or that background voice or music or sound? Yeah, sound. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad. So um, yeah, I think it's gonna be kind of a long series. I don't know how long I should make each episode. If you have any ideas, please do that in the comment section below. And another cutscene. Jump out the uh, bike. The hell is he wearing heels? Bike. Nice bike. Oh, no, you get him back on it? Yeah, your bike. It's mine now. Oh my god, this this bike is really bad. What? Oh my god. No. Are you serious? Is it gonna kill me or something? Should I just like walk there? I, I don't know if it's far. It's probably yeah, it's probably a bit far. Look at those people jump. Look at those people jump. Like an 80 year old man jumps. Just watch this. Wait. Alright, watch this. I'm, I'm gonna make this 200 year old guy jump. Come on. He just turns the other way. Oh, I killed him. Oh, I thought he jumped. Nice self-defense, man. <laughs> Look at those people jump. It makes me laugh. It makes me chuckle. Oh 
Oh my god. Just... Okay, this is the place on the cutscene. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Rossetti. He's just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with rising silicone star, Candy Sachs. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And music. that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with... Love fish. Yeah, can I tell you? Do you know how they play ping pong in Thailand? Let me tell you. It does not involve a battle if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director the Steve all Scott. All the passion with the new foreign invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, oh, they're not, day. amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very dry. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cope. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go Let's get there. out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. Hmm. Let's take her to her place. Did she say prom? No. Prop is something like that. Oh. Will you be working for my father? Maybe. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. So difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. Oh, look at those. Look at never, ever, never. No. Oh, I thought she'd go with me. Okay. Um, I have this bar in my hand, which I'm gonna eat right now. It tastes so good. I'm just gonna open it once. I go in here. Let's get out of the car. Get out of the car. You just gonna stand there? Okay, good. Come, come stand here. Okay, good. See you around, handsome. I'm sure you will. We passed that miss mission the uh, mission mission pass one hundred bucks. Um that bike really made me my health go down and just oh my god this bar's so good. Mm. I love this. You probably don't even know what I'm eating. You gonna get in? You gonna get in? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my medication! My god. Is this car broken or something? Yo, what does this even mean? Out of my way, babe! Out of your way? Are you stealing my car? Are you stealing my car? No, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm, I'm. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? The hell, where'd she go? What? Okay, she just disappeared. Um, I think we're gonna go do one more mission and then I'll end this or should just end it right now. And also, by the way, I want you guys to leave a comment on if you would like these let's plays or you'd just like me to commentate. Oh my god, there's a cop. What's wrong with these cars, actually? Oh my god. I just teleported out of the car, did you see that? 
love punching people. It makes me happy. Let's get another car. And I was saying, um, I want you guys to comment in the comment section below, and I'm still being chased by the cops. I want you guys to comment on, um, how I should make these videos. If I should keep doing these type of videos, or should I, um, should I do commentaries like the first video I made? Uh, I think I'll do a mix of both of them, but tell me in the comment section below what you like better. Oh my god, my watch is a little just increase. It's like two stars. How do I... Oh, there's that paint shop right there. I'll just paint my car. They're not going to see me. Where's the paint shop? Why does the cops have to chase you for getting into a car? Well, I, I stole it, but... I don't know why they have to chase you. It makes no sense. Like it actually makes no sense to me. Let's get in this. How do you get in this place? Okay, so yeah, so tell me in the comment section below and I'm just gonna end the video right here. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did leave a comment in the comment section below. And um yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh my god, no. Peace.